Akhtar. So we start off tonight with very troubling news, a pause on using the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine here in the United States. Here's what happened today. The CDC and the FDA announced it recommends providers pause the use of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine due to rare blood clots. South Carolina is now following that recommendation. News 19's Jenna Kurzina joins us now live with what on our own state agency is doing in reaction to this recent development. Jenna. Yeah, Andrea, DHEC's director, Dr. Edward Simmer, says they are going to be following those recommendations and sent out a notice to all providers in the state asking them to also halt all uh, administering of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine until further notice. Simmer says this will have some impact on the state, but it will be very minimal. South Carolina currently receives less doses of Johnson & Johnson compared to the other vaccines, Moderna and Pfizer. Pfizer. Simmer says he understands this may cause some hesitancy moving forward, but says this is a testament to how closely the vaccine is being monitored. I certainly understand people's concerns and their hesitancy, and this might add to that. That is very fair. I think that's reasonable. I certainly encourage people to get information about these vaccines. We caught this very early, and you know, the federal government, working with the state governments and others, have acted very quickly to take it out of circulation until we can make absolutely sure it's safe. DX says they are not aware of any reported cases of reactions of this severity in our state. They are going to continue to pause the Johnson & Johnson vaccinations until they are told otherwise. Both the Moderna and Pfizer are still available in the state. Live in Columbia, Jenna Corzina, News 19 WLTX.